Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Air. Uh, I haven't been making video or guides about this game. It's not because I stopped playing. I have been playing and you can see my level is almost 34 and I'm a completely free to play player. I have friends who are also you no know, started the same day as me during launch, but they're still at like my 10 level lower than I am. I feel like they're stuck with their progression because they don't know what to farm. And for my lineup, the heroes that I use, they are all pretty much the base character and SR heroes. You can see. And this is also from the story. And the ones I don't use, the one that I actually got, these are just for this patch. So I am clearing almost everything with my base heroes. It's because my progression is quick. I have a lot of um, resources. So I'm going to tell you guys what to farm and how to farm. And like you can see my progression here is um, completely free to play player. And before level 30, you need a lot of gold. And after 30, you need other stuff. So I'll go into step by step. Okay, so now the first thing we need is gold. So when we have to farm gold, I, I didn't make this guy. So a lot of people probably made a mistake. They have like infinite stamina because they collect all these like right off the bat. I save them when I need them. Even now I have so much that I didn't need to use because it regenerates pretty quickly if they're generous. So sometimes if you have time to play, then you can use them. If you don't, these are more than enough. Anyway, so now we're going to go into operations. So operation, this is everything that you need to farm, but not everyone goes into that. I think a lot of people are like, I have a friend who's like, oh, where do you find these? It's like, oh, dude, you're just doing your story and operation. Operation has everything. So I'll go into that later. Okay, operation, first thing you want to do is to try to get to episode three and four. I farmed a lot of gold in episode three, but when you farm your episode three, you need to have all three achievement in order to auto farm. So the best would be like, maybe you want to, if you play on PC, have it turned on and then just auto farm until you know, you run out of stamina. And the best is whatever you need to farm, try to go to the episode three act four. That is where you, aside from farming just gold, you also get a main reward of a duplicate character, the pieces. Okay. You can see every single one, anything to act four, episode three, act four, you have more than just right here. You get RNG, you get gold, you get RNG's, um, experience stuff and your R and N pieces for an implant but like you can see the rest i don't even care i just auto but whatever you want to farm make sure you get three achievement and on top of that get one of these these are good even if you don't use these characters they are much better when you want to level up using them for your um implant okay so like this one i don't really care that's why i didn't do anything but uh, when you get to episode four more gold so that's pretty much it the difference is Chapter three and uh, episode three and four is the gold difference and the shard that you're looking for. For example, I've been farming a lot of, um, not this one, her. Um, Evelyn here, I think she is probably the best SR healer. So I've been farming her a lot and she's already level, I think she's already five stars. But anyway, this is where I farm most of my gold and her pieces because I and completely free to play, you can't really summon that much, but I try to summon as much as I can. Okay, so you get all your stuff that you need here already. Okay, and this is something you probably don't need to farm because when you do these, you already get these, but I'll explain further. So basically whatever you're farming, they are being used in your headquarter, your lab, workshop, hangar, and sealed office. So. I'm going into step by step. We'll talk about implant first. Implant is where you increase your character's CP and your overall skills. Um, whatever, whichever hero. Sure, let's just do her. And then you can find, this is where you use your N and R pieces. If you don't use that R character, this is where you spend these pieces. And of course, try your best to use experience times 1.5 
then you save much more pieces. Like this here. Well, not a lot of goals. I'm going to do it. Do it for the video. Boom. Then you have these max. And whenever you level up, you can come back here and level them up again doing your implant. Okay, so this is where you farm these gold. Your operation is where you want to do it. Your main story. Okay, next we look at skill training. So skill training, a lot of my friends, they are still stuck at level one. Their skills. I'm like, what are you guys doing? A lot of my heroes are already at level five. Okay, level five is where they shine, all their characters. So these books here and these here, these resources, I'm going to show you guys where to farm. Okay, first we'll talk about the skill books. Skill books, you need to get these early. Um, gold and skill is something you need to farm early on. So the first place, there's two places you can do it. So the first one is the supply operation. People are not doing these. I'm not even kidding. Like they are not doing this. So you need to go in here. The first one here, Raya Suppression. This right here, this is your main stuff. And this costs like not a lot. You can also farm your gold here. The gold is not a lot, so unfortunate. But this is where you can get these. You can get a lot of these. Okay, and they're pretty cheap. 400 stamina. So Ryan Suppression, this is where you can farm it. But if you look at the rest, this is where you farm the other stuff. Okay, it shows. But I'll, again, I'll go step by step. So that's one place. Supply Operation, Episode 1, Act 2. The second one is Stimulation. Stimulation right here is a special defense training. It's part of your dailies. You can only use, you can only farm twice a day. They give you two free tickets, the remaining count, but you can buy these. And they're really worth buying every day, not in the beginning. I wouldn't recommend you do it for like level 15, level 30. I think level 50 and beyond is worth it. I started buying tickets like recently, but in the beginning, it's not really worth it. You get like almost double the books, then now you can farm. Because these, I think special defense training is the hardest. It really depends what your team uses. But the rest, I'm almost at the end. I haven't really tried yet, but like you can see new, so I haven't really tried myself. But these is, but yeah, here you can farm these. And these one here, it shows you what you can farm if you want your file books. But this is like, Probably you don't really need to farm these. You get it from every single operation you do. Everything. Whenever you farm gold, you get these. These two are more um, worth your tickets. And then shop is where... Well, this is not part of the farming, but this is somewhere you can also get it. So we go to exchange center. So if you refresh, you have a high chance that you can buy those skill books for really, really cheap. Like even these here for level up, only three thousand dollars. Why I don't really care. I guess I'll buy it. But a lot of them are so cheap that you wouldn't expect. So refreshing five times a day, I I would say it's pretty worth it for fifteen um, quarts. It depends if you have the gold. If you don't have gold, don't don't bother refreshing. But a lot of useful stuff are in today's steel. And then next, you can find the rest in here, whatever you need. I did make a gear, not a gear guy, like a shop guy, so I won't go into um, details about this. And we're talking about the info book. So the skill books, that's everything. Now we're going to talk about the info book. The info book, you actually can't really farm it. You need to be in your guild and you can buy 10 a week. That's 2,000. You need a lot of these. These unlock almost everything that you need to do and you need to farm. So this one, you need 2,000. I mean, you can only get 2,000 a week. So you, if you haven't joined a guild, join one right now. And this is where the only place you can buy it. And then the second way you can get your info book is from this patch. If you haven't done this patch, you guys need to get on it. Oh, that got me skill book as well. Like this patch can give you anything. So I'm going to show you guys right now, right here. You can see I got this info book. So once you get a level 30, that's why I recommend you rush to level 30 as quickly as possible, unless you want to use these. If you're free to play, I don't recommend. That's why I still haven't had these unlocked. But when you get to level 45, level 30, you can use gold to unlock these. Okay. So here now you go in. 
so you can see exploration it shows you what you can farm from these you, however it takes eight hours but don't use your main team i only have two ships the rest i mean i have two squad that i actually use the rest here are like for farming in this patch and it's good they will also get their level up so i'm going to just use them and it shows you the success chance which usually is 100 percent and that's it make sure you're doing your dispatch and here you can see what you want you want your stimulation ticket and right here if you want gold and stamina right here these ones are really rare as well depends what you need and does tell you the amount the quantity so i do want this instead bam now i have a fourth ship to do that and right here now now there's a problem oh actually no 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 these are not really worth it anymore. Sometimes if you are lucky, you can just do like, like these, these exploration that you don't require a team because it says office work. But whenever it says explore, exploration, you will need to send off your squad right here. So this one, I have a chance to get a summon. So I'm definitely doing that. And this gives me more info book. Okay, the rest is easier to farm so i guess i just can't farm here because there's no office work and right here once you cleared episode one act four hard mode you can start farming these information book right here but that's a way down the line so in the beginning like this is a beginner beginner's guide so once you go through all these this is where you go okay now we're back to the lab now we're gonna look at limit break. Limit break. I'm gonna choose. Sure. Okay. So limit break is where you increase your hero stars. So if you have a dupe, the red one is where you in the beginning just get the red one, and whenever you unpack something in the storage, get the red one. Doesn't matter if it's the APT or the regular one. Get the red one. Okay. So here it says that I need 30 to increase our star. However, if you have a duplicate right here, now you don't need to use the core material. You just straight up use cash and her dupe and then you're done. So make sure the heroes that you are using do not accidentally use their dupe in implant. Save it for limit break. And then when you reach to level 100, you need even more to awaken them. So save them. Okay, the characters you use, always save them. I'm just gonna repeat myself to make sure you guys know where to farm the APT core, the red one. So you go back to operation, two ways you can do it. Stimulation, anti-air training, right here. Okay, you can farm these twice a day. If you have enough crystals, buy these tickets, farm more. Okay, stimulation is part of your daily, so you shouldn't forget. The second one, supply operation, right here, investigation activities. As long as you have stamina, farm these. Right here. Um, this one gives you more gold. It gives you more of everything, so go here. Try to pass this right away. Don't bother farming this one. Farm this second one. Okay, now we're at our workshop. I'm gonna talk about, well, I made a guide already about the crafting stuff, so I won't go into details about what you do in here, okay, and what you need. But when it comes to farming stuff for crafting, these are the stuff you want to farm. Okay, standard gear material and training gear material. In the beginning, you can buy a lot of these in shop, well, not a lot. You can buy them in the shop, but if you if you see them, I will buy them. They're usually really cheap, maybe like four thousand gold or something like that. Okay. So where do you farm farm these? So we're right back to our riot suppression. This one you have to farm it from your episode one act four. This is where it is. Okay. Last thing about the workshop is where do you farm these gears? You can craft them, of course, but what if you don't have enough material to craft them? Now you can actually farm these. So where do you farm them? 
Okay, so we will go back to operation. Again, everything you need, you need to farm as an operation. Go all the way to free contract. And you can farm these materials to craft. And when you go back to your supply operation, in case you want to know where you can farm the crafting material, they are right here. But uh, honestly, these are not that important in the beginning, which is why I didn't even bother with these. Okay, hangar here. So this one is the hardest to farm. So we're going to look at the ship construction. These are the materials you need to construct a ship. But in the beginning, you don't need a lot of strong ship, to be honest. Um, I didn't bother making a ship guide because uh, it really depends how you want to play and how you want to do your movement. So if anyone is interested, let me know below in the comments below and I'll probably make one. Anyway, so now we're going to go into ship service. Okay. So let's say you pick any ship. These materials, the only way, well, not the only way. There's two ways. One of the way is to buy in the shop. They're pretty common. You can find from the shop list. If you don't know where to go, make sure you look at the um, video in the description below. And the real way to farm it is from dive. So where is dive? Dive is your world map. And in the bottom right corner, there is this thing called dive. right here when you do these this is where you farm them and after you collect these um, imaginary core you can buy them from the shop okay so the dive shop and right here but aside from the dive shop the other category from the shop also has some of the minor stuff that you can buy and the other thing that you really can kind of farm is where you go back to supply operation right here you can see this right here this one you need a lot so whenever you have time just come and farm them you need like hundreds of them okay we are at the very last part of the video and this is very very important i think this is where people use their wrong resources to farm okay so this is we are all familiar with this this is where we level up our characters so these one here you can get it from supply operation you can get it from st stimulation i won't go back in there but honestly when you are farming your gold you will get a lot of these not a lot of these but these one is probably good enough in the beginning lifetime contract something you can buy from the shop hey, they are pretty limited and i already made it in my shop guy you can, you can check it out now we're gonna look at scout here scout is something you can farm okay you don't have to summon them and every single character on here they are very good I won't it's not a character guy so I won't go over that and where do you farm these again we're back into the supply operation talent recruitment is where you can farm specific characters if you don't want to summon them or if you cannot summon them Right here, you can repeat as many as you can, but you need quite a lot of the pieces. I don't know how much exactly, maybe 80 or like 100 or something like that. But here you can find some of the characters. Pretty much all the characters that you saw from the scout. That's one. And then you just see them SSR um, characters in the list. And this is where you go to. You go back and then you go down to uh, side story. Okay, side story, you can see, you can find this guy, you can also find this guy for your SSR. Okay, finish your side story and you can farm your heroes. This guy is also there, the lady is also in there. Oh, forgot to mention that there is a daily limit to the SSR one, so make sure you do it every day. So, three per day. Okay, so we are going to go back to the most important topic is how do you farm efficiently okay so you see you have these info book don't use them i mean you can but free to play player i really don't recommend for example right here um i'm gonna plan my formation okay so now 
once you three achievement unlocked for whatever stage you want to farm you go to repeat operation this is the most efficient in my opinion if you don't have time to play then right here you can just go max whatever your stamina has you could go start repeat and then done just let it do the work for you but make sure you have your um storage and not completely full your collection because if they have a lot of um duplicate characters then they'll stop the operation you can you can enlarge your roster by using more crystals not sure if it's worth it but i did do it for another 150 i increased another 150 um slots anyway so this is one way to farm use only your stamina but if you are like i i, I don't i want my rewards right away i i want to play now you go to stack operation so you go to stack operation what Ever the most stamina you can use multiply by using your um, info book one run literally literally one you will get all your rewards from a 19 worth of run in one run but this one you literally have to do 19 of the runs that's the difference but this is where you will use a lot of your info book but these info book again I talked about it earlier they're very valuable you needed to form other stuff all right everybody thank you so much for watching i hope this video helped you understand better about what to farm and how to farm more efficiently this guide is more catered to free to play players in my opinion so i hope you guys find this helpful if you like what you're watching don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel i'll see you guys next time bye bye